So what is going on everybody? Welcome to your fifth MongoDB tutorial. My name is Mehul and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you various data you can insert in your MongoDB database and uh, I should have probably done this tutorial a bit before I guess it should be on number three but uh, you know I am a bit lazy so anyhow here we are so anyways well uh, what I want to do is first of all start off MongoD so MongoD and uh, Here we go. It's now listening on port 27017 right so now Inside my second terminal. I'm gonna say Mongo and hit enter now. We are in the Mongo shell show DBS and uh, Here we have all our DBs so use MDB now with MongoDB what you have is you have access to a lot and a lot and a lot of data types Right pretty much whatever you had in JavaScript you have in MongoDB, right? So if you create my object you can have an object with like uh, a Boolean Right this should be true could be true or false then you can have a string of uh, my own string Right, you can have a number which is like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or like that. Then you can have something like uh, my null as null, right? Then you could also have an array, for example, you want to say that uh, um, your last test marks and you would enter like zero 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 kinda <laughs> so like that and don't forget to close your object and hit enter now you see that your object contains all that information you can just push it into your mdb so write db dot uh, my custom object and make sure you have the switch to your db and then say dot insert and write it to my object hit enter you will get right results one and uh, let me just get rid of uh, this one actually so yeah right there and uh, probably it would have been kind of jumping camera so anyways now what I'm gonna do is say DB dot my custom object but fine and actually this is a document right so now you see that it's kind of not pretty so what I'm gonna do is make use of pretty keyword right there and you see that it works pretty awesome well now you see that uh, we've got all of our data but uh, what the heck is this well in MongoDB what happens is that your every of your document and its object would be assigned an object ID and it consists of uh, you know some sort of pattern you can just trace trace it back how this ID is created it's kind of like uh, some sort of digits first contribute to your time when the object is created and all that stuff I don't actually kind of remember exactly how this object ID is constructed but uh, it's actually no use of actually as well if you want to just dig out then you can just do that because it's not really knowing in the point what, what this consists of it's just kind of unique ID associated with each of your object and that is kind of why it is an ID right so <clears throat> well yeah so that is pretty much all for this tutorial and uh, I just wanted to show you that you can store pretty much like anything you want to in MongoDB and it you would be good to go and it would be fast and easy as well and uh, yeah so that is all for this one and uh, I'll see you then real quick in the next one